Hey guys, this is Two Drunk Girls. I'm Jen. Hi, I'm Lauren. Welcome to our show today. Our drink of the day is a Bloody Mary. This time we are drinking, I'm going to get this right one day, Boru Vodka. And if you see, it's chilled. We like our drinks chilled. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a product of Ireland, which I wasn't aware that they made vodka in Ireland. But hey. It's quite tasty. It's good. And, you know, just regular V8 juice and a little lemon squeeze and it's kind of spicy and you're drinking without me. Oops, I totally spilled. Mm. Mm. We cheers and drink at the same time. Yeah, we do. And every time we say something awesome or amazing, which happens at least ten times an episode, mm -hmm. we will ding. And that is your cue to drink with us. It's interactive. We want you to join. Have a drink. Have Happy a hour. Mary. It's amazing. Okay, we're going to talk about things we're obsessed with today. So the first thing we're obsessed with is Tindergate. Tindergate at the Olympics. So all of the, the athletes apparently are getting busy. Which obviously is going to happen. Of course, because they're the most attractive, physically fit human beings and, and ever. And they have great stamina, let's be honest. Yeah, and they're <laughs> all smashed in one little Olympic village, which sounds like basically a sex den. And they're... Cheers to that. And they're drinking vodka all day long in Sochi. I mean, would you not be having sex with, like, Ryan Lochte if you could? Speaking of Ryan Lochte, I mean, I know he's not in the Olympics. It's the, obviously, it's the Winter Olympics. But I'm just saying, he, they actually, you know, in the past Olympic events, they've talked about the sex between the athletes. And uh, he brought up that the Olympics before London, he had a girlfriend. He thought it was a huge mistake. Yeah. And so he was super excited about London. And I, I know he's kind of, like, not the sharpest tool in the shed, but Gia, Gia. For Ryan Lochte, he's hot. And he they should all be having sex. So why is everyone surprised? I, it's really just like another vehicle of getting the sex done is Tinder. You know, it's it's not like... Have the sex. Yeah. It's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. What is a surprise is how many condoms apparently are being shipped to Russia. 100,000? Yeah. That's and then they, they ran out and needed to send more or something like that, which is just kind of funny and great for the condom industry. You know what? So. It's great. And at least they're practicing safe sex. Right. Let's focus on the positive. That's why we're obsessed athletes. with this. That's why. I think we love that. I think we do, too. All right. And we're also obsessed with Kathy Lee and Hoda. They're our girls. We love them so much. They're our idols. Yeah. Our inspiration. And they were on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen this week on Bravo. And I love Andy Cohen. He's also my This inspiration. was like, and it was we like, tweeted the other day, that this was like a TV orgy of amazingness. It was because like. Because it was our favorite people in one place. I think I got pregnant after I watched it because I loved it so much. I was drunk of happiness. Like, I was, well, I was both. It was, there pregnant was, and drunk. That's a great combination. <laughs> oh, wow. Holla. Yikes. Mm hmm. Mm. This is good. This is really good. You, really, you got me, you introduced me to Bloody Marys, you know that? Yeah, because we celebrated my birthday and That's we, right. we first time. went to uh, make your own Bloody Mary I lost, bar. I lost my Bloody Mary virginity with this one over here, and it was amazing. You're welcome. Um, okay, so Kathy Lee and Hoda. What? So, okay, so yeah. they were amazing on there they were like both wearing red it was before valentine's day it was super cute they're cute and hearing them talk about each other and how much they love each other and working together is like oh. a joy and really a choice because kathy lee even said she doesn't, she doesn't have to work yeah she doesn't have to work this is something that she does because she loves it right. and and she, she loves hoda and she loves hoda and so she if she is going to work she's going to pick who she works with right i kind of feel like it reminds me of something Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. It's making me a little teary. I know. Maybe it's the vodka. I don't Might know. Be. Well, so the funny part of it was, you know, their dynamic and also. Yeah. Um, they did reveal that they don't really drink on the show. They, like, sip. But some days when they shoot three episodes back to back, by the third, they are kind of drunk. So they're like, we feel bad for the guests on the third well, episode that they know, shoot that day. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. We're you just having it. an innocent little drink here. It's not like we're throwing back shots. No. So, you know, we're the same way. We're just sipping. Look, not a lot is gone. Mm -mm. Just a little sippy poo here mm -hmm. and there. And it's like a lot of juice. It's healthy almost. You've got to keep yourself hydrated. Too. It's veggie juice. It's veggie juice and a little vodka. Never killed anybody. Kathy Lee and Hoda do it. And they were cute, too. They were playing games, and they were drinking a little. Mm -hmm. Everyone drinks on Andy Cohen. That's the thing. Right. So They were drinking white wine. Of course. Obviously. And, of course, they, like, tested each other, and they were like, wait, what, do you, what kind of white wine do you think it is? Oh. So, of course, they yeah. got it, because they're, like, connoisseurs. They're connoisseurs. Um, and also, have you been watching them as they're talking about the Olympics on their show, where they do that, like, um, Russian roulette vodka shot thing, where it's, like, a tray of shots, and then they... Pick one, and it could be water, it could be vodka. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. We, we should, should do, do that. that. <gasps> you, you 
Get out of here. What direction did I send you? I don't you? know, but I sent you off that way. I'm, you're over there we somewhere. We shouldn't go anywhere because we still have to talk about what else we're obsessed with. Ellen Page, Page coming, coming out. out. Amazing. Amazing. We love her. She, let's cheer, first of all, to you know that. What? because to Ellen Page and your awesomeness and your mm -hmm. honesty. We love you. We love you. Oh, my God. Watching the speech she gave at Friday's Human Rights Conference was yeah. just chilling. I had, you know, chills. I mean, you could tell, look, this woman is, you know, a, a very, a, an amazing actress. She's used to, you know, I'm sure getting up and speaking and being in front of people and you know, she's a performer. But you could tell you could that she was so nervous. So nervous because it was so <sighs> personal for her and you could just feel her, you know, like anxiety and excitement at the yeah. same time because you know she was like ready to do this and I can't say that I'm completely and totally surprised by no. what she said. But I like that she chose to do it where she did it um, because I think she felt supported by everyone that was there with her. They're all in the same boat. And it was really lovely and beautiful to watch her do yeah. that, I think. I think so, too. I think what also, you know, stands out is that she had held this information for so long. And, of course, there's speculation. I mean, who didn't think that she was? Right. I don't know. And it is a little bit based on stereotypes of or, course. Like, you know, uh, uh, qualities yeah. that you would associate right. with being homosexual. but. The fact that she didn't for so long, I think she covered that in her speech, was hypocritical almost. Yeah. Because she's like, there are people that are fighting for this every day, trying yeah. to make a change, and here I'm holding this information because of a job in an industry that limits me to well, it's, certain expectations. And and I think that that's the same place that the stereotypes come from, because right. women are, you know, objectified in a sexual-esque way, and if you don't exude that for whatever reason because you're holding back not just because you're a lesbian or because you're straight you're holding back your set the part of you that's sexual then people don't see that so they start speculating and right. based on a stereotype and she did make a good point about that and then she just finally came out and everyone gave her a standing o it was amazing you could feel the like release and the lip the liberation that she was feeling it was yeah. really awesome to watch so cheers to you ellen cheers. page and your awesomeness two drunk girls love you come love. have a drink with us wait also what is, like, kind of killing my vibe, though, about the whole thing, and I know that that's not this segment, is that she even had to wait. Like, I know. that it's even a thing. Coming you know, out is a thing. Why does it even have to why be a thing? Even have Who to be cares? Thing? I don't come out and say, hey, everyone, guess what? I'm straight. Hi, straight. We're oh. straight. Let's come out. That's Let's news. Come out. Let's wait, come out. Okay. Everybody have something to tell you. I'm straight. I'm straight. But I do think girls are pretty hot. I mean, does that make me kind of a lesbian? I don't know, but this was groundbreaking information. Don't you think? That was, like, news just now, what we just did. I know. So why don't you guys share this video because what we just told you was groundbreaking. Because who really actually gives a damn about what I our mean, sexual on is? Who cares? Who cares? Um, Everyone should be allowed to do what they want. Which is why we are ultimately obsessed with that story. We are. We're obsessed with all those things. Tinder at the Olympics, Kathy Lee and Hoda and Ellen Page. Love you all. We cheers to you. Cheers to you. We will see you for our next segment. Cheers.